Consider the sets A and Z related to each other as shown. Clearly, every element in the set A is related to exactly one element in the set Z. So, the given relation is a function. The element 2 in the input set is assigned the element C from the output set. Here, C is called the image of 2 under F. And 2 is called the preimage of C under F. The function from an input set A to an output set B is donated like this. Here, A is the domain of the function, and B is the codomain of the function. A function whose range is a set of real numbers is called a real valued function. Consider the sets D and Y related to each other as shown. Can we consider this relation as a real valued function? Pause this video and give it a thought. Clearly, every element in the set E is related to exactly one element in the set Y. So, the given relation is a function. The range of this function consists of the elements 2, 3, 5, and 7. Hence it is a set of real numbers. So, this function is a real valued function. Now consider the sets D and Y related to each other as shown. Can we consider this relation as a real valued function? Again, pause this video and give it a thought. Clearly, every element in the set E is related to exactly one element in the set Y. So, the given relation is a function. The range consists of the elements 5, 6, 7, and 9. Clearly, it is a set of real numbers and therefore, this function is a real valued function. Consider the sets D and Y related to each other as shown. Pause this video and try to figure out if this relation is a real valued function. Every element in the set E is related to exactly one element in the set Y. So, the given relation is a function. In this case, the range consists of the members K, 6, 8, and 9. Since K is not a real number, the range is not the set of real numbers, and hence, this function is not a real valued function. Consider the sets D and Y related to each other as shown. Again, pause this video and try to figure out if this relation is a real valued function. Every element in the set E is related to exactly one element in the set Y. So, the given relation is a function. The range of this function consists of the elements 3, 8, 9, and square root of 2. Since range is a set of real numbers, this function is a real valued function.